started the company in in 2005. Um, this business was started completely for the sole purpose of the world. It was money, 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 money. That was the only driving factor here. Bill was the first employee that we hired. Um, we hired him probably after three, four months of being in business. And, you know, we were much younger and it was only guys and it was more fraternal than corporate. Felt like God told me that I needed to start praying for the company. And I said, okay, Lord, I can do that. And then he said, no, wait a second. I want you to pray for your company at your company. And I said, okay, I can do that too. And he said, and I want you to do it with Shane. And I thought, that's interesting, Lord. I can do that, but I don't think Shane's the praying type. But I'll do it anyway. So. I didn't really grow up with a faith background. Um, it, it was not a part of my life at all. Uh, and Shane and I had breached faith a few times, but I was so narrow focused on this is money, 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 money. This company, that's the sole purpose. I had put, we had put God outside of it. I went to church on Sunday, left church on Sunday and came to work and focused on the world and that was it. Bill walked into my office and said, I need to talk to you. And I said, oh, cool, sit down. And he said, well, can we talk in the conference room? And uh, I, I didn't, you never know when, when an employee says that, what, what's coming next. And, and he said, uh, he said to me, I, 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 we need to start praying together. And I said, is there any way that I can pray for you? And he said, no, I'm good. And I said, okay, well, let's just pray for the company then. So I prayed and he sat there and probably stared at me while I had my eyes closed. And um, that happened and I said, I think we need to do this next week at the same time. And he said, okay so we did it I think there's just certain things that happen in life when you just go okay you just you don't really know why but you, you know you just say okay and, and I, I didn't really argue with but I said okay and we did it every single week for a few months and then one day we were leaving the office and he said hey Chris wants to join us uh, for our next meeting and I said great let's do it started with just the three of us initially a prayer activity and it was very simple. We'd get together on Monday mornings and we'd, at first it was a, an act because we were still closed in. We would talk about what we thought we should talk about, you know, because we were starting to walk, but we, we, we hadn't opened our hearts yet. We had but, our accountant come join us and then a few other coworkers came and joined us. And we've been having a Monday morning prayer meeting ever since. After we started praying together, things gradually started changing. We started encouraging each other. We weren't making fun of each other as much. And then after the guys got back from their retreat where they trusted in the Lord, then it was totally different. Um, we attended this retreat and he just broke away the entire world from us and opened our eyes really in our hearts to what we were and what he has done for us. And they decided and, to turn the company over to Jesus. And Bill, when we came back, was um, very excited because he had two new brothers that had climbed a mountain and all of a sudden were looking off the mountain with him going, wow, this is, this is what we're here for. This is what life is about. This is why Christ has put us here and what he gave us in the sacrifice. We understood the, the, the magnificence of it. We, we made the decision to sort of give this thing up to the Lord and, and, and become a Christian company and really talk about it and really promote it and really make it a lot of who we are. When we started following the principles in the Bible, when we, when we took Romans into our hearts and used that as an example for how to run a company, our business has grown six, seven hundred percent since then. And that's okay, but what's exciting is we have prayer huddles, we have Bible studies, we have a growth in, in contributing the resources that the Lord has, has stacked on us to His community. Every time we hire an employee, we, in, our, in our welcome letter, we tell them that we're a faith-based company, we have Monday Bible studies. You know, we've got sometimes 20 people in this conference room on Mondays at noon. We get together when someone's having a rough day, we pray for each other or when we're about to send out a, a proposal for one of our business deals that we're doing, we'll gather together as a company and, and pray together for it. Um, we have a, 
a weekly Bible study that we do that we've opened up to people outside of the company. Um, so we've had people from numerous companies come in and join us. Um, we've actually seen people trust in Christ through that Bible study, which is pretty neat. You know, we still have struggles as a company, but I mean, I've, I've truly laid them at the feet of the Lord. And when I, when I leave at the end of the day and I head home to my family, I'm going home to my family. And, and I know that, that He has a plan for this company and I'm, I'm part of that plan. And, and He's going he's gonna to make happen what happens. So I, I give everything I can every day to Him and for Him at work. We do serve Jesus here uh, in the corporate office. We don't expect our employees to all be Christian. In fact, we've got employees from all different faith backgrounds, but we really do believe that because we're serving Jesus at the corporate office, that that does translate to, to benefits to our employees out in the field, whether that's us being straightforward with them, dealing um, with our business partners, with integrity, um, investing in our employees, um, getting to know them, not just looking at them as, as people that are filling chairs, but you know, people that we're actually considering to be part of our family and trying to bless them that way. You know, it's, I mean, this is a family as much as it is a company.